Good morning, baby James. Good morning. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Good morning. So I've just dropped off the big kids at school. Feels like I've run a marathon already and it's only nine o'clock. And now I'm off to take my little kids off to a program that we go to at the local community center. Um, I am actually feeling not too bad today. Like I'm pretty, pretty tired, but um, I always find when I have accomplished something awesome the day before, uh, my morning usually is not so, so bad <laughs> because I'm still running off of the high of accomplishing something. And last night I wrote another big section of my book. So I'm pretty excited. But oh my word, it feels like I've run a marathon already and it's only 9 a.m. So normally my husband and I, we both work from home. So we're both um, home for school drop off and pick up, which is amazing because basically then one of us stays at home with the little kids and then the other one will go and pick up the bigger kids. However, on a day like today when my husband had an early presentation, um, we, I was on my own. So here's what school drop off looks like for me. So I have the baby strapped to me. There's the little baby, all tucked up in there. So baby strapped to me in the carrier. And then, let me turn the camera. And then here are my kitties in the jogging stroller. Guys, say hi. 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 So the kids go, the little kids go in the jogging stroller. Uh, we have another stroller, the City Select, um, which is really nice too. Uh, but I like this one because it can very easily sit these two munchkins. They can snuggle up inside it. If I'm in a very healthy mood, I can actually run with the stroller. Although I can't really do that when the baby's attached to me. But um, I just find the jogging stroller a nice um, option for school drop off and pick up. It's a gorgeous day. The birds are finally chirping. It's been so cold that to finally have like a taste of spring is just so gosh darn refreshing. Did you have fun at our program today? Yeah. Joseph, what are you doing? A diamond. A sweet Joseph, is that good? Are you going to eat it? Joseph, where are you going with it? Oh, is it for me? <gasps> Joseph, you're so sweet. What is it? What is it? Joseph just gave me one of these artichoke things or these harvest snaps. So yummy. Thank you, Joseph. You're so kind. <laughs> so we just got home from... Uh, the program I do with my little kids and I am tired. I didn't have any coffee this morning and I didn't have any breakfast So that's like a really big problem because now I'm like headachy and I'm tired and I am looking forward to sitting down with a coffee and some food and just relaxing So bless his heart. This is my little helper He thought maybe you know, let's just put some little snap peas in my coffee. Is that to make them get more my yummy? Joseph is that to make my coffee more yummy? Yeah? I'm so desperate for coffee that I'm still gonna drink it complete with the snap peas in it. Joseph, you're funny. So the kids finished their lunch and I'm finishing up mine. I'm being healthy today and having a like salad and some chicken, yum yum. Um, and a funny thing happened today at the program that I take my kids to. So, um, uh, it was a brand new session of this program that I've been going to since my kids were really small. And so I met a whole bunch of new moms. And what's so funny when I meet new moms and they ask me, how many children do you have? And I say, six. They always go, what? And then when I tell them that the oldest one is eight, then they go, what? And it's so funny. So anyways, inevitably we start talking about, you know, how I make time to work and all that kind of stuff. And um, so what, what I'm uh, excited about today... Um, is to 
share with you how I make time for my friends. Uh, tonight, I'm getting together with two girlfriends from university, Becky and Laura, who I treasure very dearly. I don't see them as much as I would like to see them, but when I do see them, it's really, really nice, and I really, really value the time. I have in my weekly schedule, and you can see I have another video um, where I literally share my entire schedule with you. You can check that out in the cards. Uh, but I have a couple blocks in my weekly schedule where I have, you know, the possibility of hanging out with friends. I mean, I don't do it every time there's an opportunity, but, um, I do make some effort, uh, to, um, you know, make sure that I'm connecting with friends. I'm so excited to see those women today. Right now, I am so tired. <laughs> I am so tired. I, um, I would, I would really, um... I just, uh, yeah, I can't wait to take a nap. At some point today, I must take a nap. Rosie, do you want a nap? Do you want to take a nap? Have a cuddle party in you my room. We could have a cuddle party in my room. Cuddle party is when I really want to take a nap. That's like what I do. We lie down and we just cuddle. And I won't nap, obviously, because I can't really leave her alone. <laughs> but uh, we will cuddle and it's really nice. Do you know what I wish existed? Um... You know how there's like Uber and Uber Eats? I wish there was like Uber Nap or Uber Nanny. I guess that's what it would be called, Uber Nanny, so that if you really needed a babysitter, you just put it into your phone and someone would come within like 30 minutes. <laughs> Can someone invent that, please? Let's invent that. <laughs> Do you want to have a cuddle party with mommy? Cuddle party. Can you give me a kiss, Joseph? Mwah. Mwah. Who wants to have a cuddle party? Okay, so I'm in the car. I'm getting ready to drive to my girlfriend's house to have some much needed, much needed friend time. I'm so excited to see these women. Baby James is in the car with me. Um, my car also, P.S., is such a mess. Like, look, this is like, it's so, I don't know how one can accumulate so many Starbucks cups. Like, I wish I could show you how many Starbucks cups are in my car right now. It's kind of out of control. This is a problem. <laughs> Gotta clean this car. <clears throat> All right, I got my sidekick. Hey, baby. And we're gonna go meet my girlfriends. If I can make my way through this condo maze. Here we go. Elevators, fun. Visitors, please call resident to open door. All right, let's see if I can figure this out. Um, you guys, look at how cute this apartment I'm in is. This is my girlfriend's place. And look at this, so many treasures. This is like one of my favorite things about um, decorating when you can display your trinkets and treasures and it tells such a story about your life um just like look at the story it's so much fun like you can tell this couple is well traveled they enjoy um bowling for example it's just so 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 super fun um and i just love it i'm just so happy look at me my feet are up baby is nursing and happy and we are going to eat i'm so excited you guys I mean, look at this, come on, look at this. My girlfriend is the sweetest person. We were supposed to get together for my birthday, but then something happened and we couldn't. And so this is my post-birthday surprise complete with a pink ombre candle. I love girlfriend time. I just have to show you this pastel baby. Look at this pastel baby. So I have just got home from a super fun night. It is so quiet in my house. It is so rarely quiet. So it's so like refreshing to come home with it. So quiet. Um, I, um, you know, it's, it's, it's funny. I am tired coming home. It is kind of late. Um, and sometimes I allow being tired to like talk myself out of going out, you know, Oh gosh, it's too tiring. And I have to leave the house, blah, 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 get dressed. But you know, it's like, worth it sometimes. It is so nice to invest in friendships that matter. And let's just face it, like we cannot be with our children 24 seven. Like we certainly, I don't regret any of the time that I spend with my kids, but I also think it's important that we invest in our own relationships, invest in, um, you know, people that matter to us, invest in things that make us whole people and um, having really great, you know, long conversations over food um, really fill me up and um, make me really happy. So um, if you also feel like, oh my gosh, there's just like how on earth do I balance, you know, time for friends, let alone time for myself in my busy schedule of raising kids and working, 
here are a couple things that I, you know, strategies that I would love to share. Number one is to schedule it. I know I feel like I'm a bit of a clanging gong when it comes to scheduling, but I just, I do think that what we schedule in our lives is where priorities will, um, you know, fall into, um, where we, what we schedule will be actualized. So I would encourage you to find, you know, a, a, a window or two per, per week maybe. Um, and it's not like you necessarily have to do something with friends every single week, but at least you have options. Um, and you keep them in your calendar as great options for you. The second thing I would say is to keep it simple. Um, certainly getting dressed up and doing something super fun is really fun. And believe me, I, um, really love to get dressed up and, and, you know, go out and really, I love food. Food is my, my big thing. So to go to a gorgeous restaurant that's beautifully designed and have delicious food and wine is like so, so exciting to me. But to be honest, I have to be very practical. I have a breastfeeding baby. Um, you know, sometimes it's not easy or, like it's just not easy to to juggle a baby at a restaurant sometimes um although I have done it you know I do, I do still do it but you know we kept it very simple today by going to somebody's house um you know you don't have to necessarily travel far you can do something that's close to home um but basically the aim of the game is don't let some complicated setup then impede you from going and just spending time with people that you care about. So keep it simple. And then the third thing I would say is have intentionality about who you connect with. Now, what do I mean by that? I personally don't have a system of how I remember how to like stay in touch with people. That might sound like extreme, like, oh my gosh, Lisa, you have to schedule everything. But in the busyness of my six kids and running an interior design business, I, um, you kind of lose track and like, I, sometimes I just sort of realize, oh yeah, I haven't talked to Laura or Becky in a really long time. I want to reach out and make sure that we connect. So I'd actually like to develop almost like lists, like lists of people who I want to connect with on a regular basis. You know, maybe there's one group of people who I'd like to make sure I, um, call or get together with like once a month and then maybe there's a group of people who once a quarter I want to make sure that I'm reaching out to and seeing if I can that kind of a thing where I can literally rotate through um lists so that people don't get left out and um you know again like in the busyness of my life sometimes just unfortunately um uh, you know, despite what I, that I'd love to spend a lot of time, just sometimes I'm just not able to. So to have a list of people and actually be somewhat strategic about it is kind of exciting to me. I don't know if this whole like list thing will work. Like, is that a little crazy? Am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy that I think I could put friends into lists and that's how I'll make sure I stay in touch with them. But right now, the only way I remember to stay in touch with people is I barely remember birthdays. Oh my gosh. I barely remember birthdays. I just finally, um, you know, made it a point to put a whole bunch of people's birthdays as recurring events in my um, Google calendar because I was just like, I would panic because I would think it was someone's birthday and then realize, oh no, it's actually tomorrow. Or of course, there's been so many times when I've missed people's birthdays and realized like a week later, oh my gosh, I did not call them for their birthdays. And that's just like not fun. And it's not fun to feel like you're failing at friendships. I don't like that. So, um, a list might sound crazy and extreme to some, but for me, it would be actually kind of comforting to know that, you know, there's a little bit of intentionality, um, with how I'm going to connect with some of my dear friends. I don't know. I'd love to hear, how do you make sure that you stay in touch with people that you really want to stay in touch with? And how do you as a busy parent, um, you know, make sure that you're making time for your own friendship. So if you like this video, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. And I do a video every week on Fridays. Uh, so feel free to hit that subscribe button. Uh, so you can always know when I post a new video. I love journeying with you. I, um, you know, the struggle of, um, identity and making sure that we invest in ourselves as busy parents is a real struggle and um, you know I'm just so happy to journey with all of you in um, you know designing your life around what matters most so cheers to designing your beautiful life and I'll see you next time